Hey everyone, so this is going to be the intro for my Finish 16 by Spring. This is going to be my next seasonal project. I'm going to pick 16 items I want to try and either finish up or make as much progress as I can by March 20th. So, I have my little list made out. And these are fairly easy products. It's just... They're either deluxe size products that are just taking up space in my linen closet or I've already started working on them and I'm almost done with them and then I'll just kind of put them to the side so they're just, either way they're just taking up space. So I'm hoping that this will kind of motivate me to get them moved out. So first up is my Marc Jacobs Daisy Rollerball Perfume. I had this in my project pan last year. So this is all that I have left in it. Not very much at all. I mean, I have that much. Which, rollerballs take a lot longer than I thought to get through. But, I mean, maybe this little bit won't take me very long. Next up is my... Urban Decay D Slick Powder, and this, the package is broken, the powder is all crushed up and broken. I think this got all beat up when I took it on a trip, so I'm not going to open it, but just know that it's in the project. <laughs> I have my, this little two fluid ounce Ulta Passion Berry Vanilla Lotion. I think I had this in a project last year and I just never got around to using it. These don't take very long to use. They're very watery. So this might last a week or two. It won't take me very long. I have the Sea Booth Honey Almond Nourishing Bath and Body Wash. I just used up my last body wash and I think I have part of a body scrub left so I can start working on this. I just really don't like this. It's very slippery so it's hard to it's hard to rub on you and it doesn't lather up so it's just it's really weird to use. And it's just not my favorite. It smells nice, but it's just not the most enjoyable body wash. Next is my Avalon Organics Vitamin C Renewal Vitality Facial Serum. I don't have very much left at all. The pump goes up on this one. I'm having to use my other camera and it's extremely yellow. So, my line is there. I have, you know, that much left of it to use. Since it's organic, I don't want it to sit around for a long time. And I got this thinking that it would help with my hyperpigmentation, and it hasn't. So, I've just kind of put it to the side, and I just want to use that last little bit up. So, I'll quit taking up space on my vanity. Next is this Redken Pillow Proof Blow Dry Express Primer. Time saving blow dry primer with heat protection. I've used up another one of these before and I really like this. I feel like it really does speed up my blow dry time. And it kind of gives my hair some grab so when I'm curling it, the it my hair doesn't just slip off the wand. I really do like this and these don't take very long to use up. This I got off of drugstore.com. It's the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Cream Shave in Coconut Lime. The reason I got this is I was like $2 and something away from free shipping. And I think this was like exactly how much I needed. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it up. And if I like it, I'll get another one to take on vacation this year, but I'd rather go ahead and test it out now instead of taking it on vacation and then not liking it. It smells really nice. 
And I really love the Alba Botanica brand. So I just want to use this guy up. Plus, I'm almost out of shave stuff. So it'll be nice to test that out and see how I like it. This I got in an influencer box. And I don't want to throw it out because I love this brand. It's the Not Your Mother's Deja Voodoo Style Extender. And it says it's supposed to repel dirt and extend style and lock in your style until your next shampoo. So since I'm trying to wash my hair less, since I've started you know, getting highlights and bleaching and going red and all of that, I'm trying to not wash my hair very often. So if this can repel dirt and extend my style, that would be awesome. So I've used it a couple of times. I've got a mark up here. This is one of the handful of products that I kind of wonder if I'll get done by spring or not. This is kind of a give me product. This is just something I need to just use and part with. This is the Victoria's Secret Noir Tease Perfume. I have that little tiny bit left in there. I've just been holding on to this for nostalgia reasons. This is the perfume I wore on my wedding day. This exact bottle. And we've been married for over two and a half years now. So, instead of letting it go bad, I need to just use up this teeny tiny little bit in here. I'll probably use it up like when we go out for Valentine's Day or something. I mean, I can't hold on to this forever and ever. I'll... I'll always know what scent I wore on my wedding day, but I can't hold on to the bottle forever. <laughs> That's called hoarding. Next up is this e.l.f. nail polish in lilac, and that's what I have on my nails now. I really like these e.l.f. polishes, and I'm not going to do a project polish this year. It seems like when I have, like certain polishes that I have to use I just get bored with them at least when I'm just painting like one polish I can mix in my other polishes with it so here is where my mark is but I think I might be farther than that because I've used it several times I think I don't know the formula is really thick so I'm thinking maybe this is just what's on the side, and I have less than that because I keep having to add polish thinner to it. Next is this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration After Sun Lotion with Aloe Gel. No, I don't really plan on being in the sun, but I've had this since two beach trips ago. So I really just need to get this used up. It's been sitting here for almost two years and there's my line I mean that's all I have left so I really just need to use this up and recycle the bottle next I have two little pocket bags from Bath and Body Works these are the last two that I have this one is in s'mores and this one is in buttercream they're both brand new I love these. They don't dry my hands out. They really smell good. They don't smell like alcohol. I don't think these will be a problem to use up. I'll put one in my makeup basket to use before I do like my face makeup and the other one I'll keep in my purse. So I don't think these will be a problem to use up. But if these are counting as like two separate products. Next is this Derma Doctor Shrinking Beauty Body Beautiful Lotion. I think this is supposed to kind of tighten up problem areas that you have. Can I get like a vat of this to just dip my whole body in? <laughs> I haven't used it, but there was some air in it, so I'm just going to say that my starting mark is up here. <sighs> I wish that it was not so yellow. That's why I don't ever use this camera, but something's wrong with my other one. Um, I may use this like on my bat wings I got going on. <laughs> up here. <laughs> I don't know. This won't take me long to use up. This is the Schwarzkopf Got to Be Rocking It Dry Conditioner. 
I have a love-hate relationship with this. I feel like it does help get that dry, like, almost crusty feeling of dry shampoo. Like, it helps to soften my hair up so it doesn't feel just so dry and crunchy. And it helps take away some of the white cast. But it smells very strong. Uh, there's not much in here. If I was to guess, I'd say I'm probably, like, down around here somewhere. Like, there's not a ton in here. But I just want to hurry up and finish this up. Am I feeling dry? Eh, not really. But, and I haven't seen this in stores anymore. This is the only dry conditioner I've ever seen. I like the idea of it. But I wouldn't repurchase this one again. And then, last but not least, and I think this is the one that I'm probably not going to finish up. But that's okay. I'm really more putting it in here just to remind myself to use it. It's the Freeman Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. And I am down to here. So I've only used it a handful of times. I don't think I'm going to finish it up completely, which is fine. I haven't had it too terribly long. Really, I just want to put it in here to remind myself to use a mask, you know, once a week, a couple times a week. Use two times a week. Okay, so I can use it a couple times. But I really do like this. I feel like it does help really exfoliate in my pores and get out all the buildup in there. And my face really does feel nice and smooth. And I feel like I have almost a glow after I use this. So I really do like it. So those are the 16 items that I am going to try to finish up by March 20th. And I'm going to update around the 20th of every month depending on like how my filming schedule falls if you are doing any kind of like seasonal spring project I don't think there was like really an official one I've seen seven by spring and I think really that's the only one I've seen so far is the seven by spring well no I had to take it farther I had to do 16 by spring <laughs> But if you are doing a seasonal challenge, please let me know down in the comments. Subscribe. I'd love to have you. And until next time, bye.